Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I am very budget conscious. I am frugal. Uh, you know, I, I love when I can save money when I know that I'm going to be spending it one way or another. It's not that I go out of my way to save money. Uh, usually I wait for an opportunity to come along. I'm like, yeah, it's a great way to save money on something that I was going to do anyway. And uh, we, as people who use gadgets and gizmos, are prone to be attracted to apps and services. And we've written an article on LockerGnome.com. What are the best apps to help you start and keep a budget? Because it's easy to say, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep a budget this month. And then you just veer off like really quickly if you're not keeping your eye on what exactly is going on with your money. So uh, my question to you, first of all, uh, do you have a budget? Is it reasonable? Do you set it yourself? Uh, and how do you find yourself getting away from sticking to that budget? What is it that, that, that draws your attention away? Yes, I have, I have Lego in my monthly budget. That there's no negotiation there. Lego will happen in the budget. Entertainment is also in my budget. I tend not to go overboard with it. And as I said before, I will uh, figure out a way to save money if it does happen to go a bit beyond my budget. But there are plenty of apps and services that can help you with this. And we've got the article for you to read, share, like, plus one, whatever you gotta do. Uh, and I'm just gonna mention a couple of, of the services available uh, from this article, at least linked from it. The Yodley Money Center. And uh, that one's a fun one uh, for managing uh, budgets. Quicken. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, Quicken is kind of it's kind of old school, really. You want to talk about a relic. Uh, but they're still kicking. And uh, if you're looking for a way uh, to better manage your family's budget, uh, you're going to want to find some kind of web-based service, whether it's Quicken outright, uh, potentially Mint.com, which we talked about. I think it was a, a couple of months ago someone asked the question, uh, there are uh, other services, certainly available, that can help you keep an eye on what is going on with your money. And here's the thing. If you're not watching what's happening with your money, uh, that's bad. You need to keep your eye out for things. Uh, Derek Weiland says, I use PNC Virtual Wallet to keep the entertainment with affording the necessities. Very nice. That's PNC Virtual Wallet, a recommendation from the live chat box here on YouTube during our broadcast of TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, not connected to everything. I, I don't exactly understand where that was. You, yeah, sure. If you're not connected to anything, you're not going to spend any money. Uh, the fact that I don't like the taste of alcohol, I imagine, saves me a lot, says the shadow director. Very true. Alcohol can be expensive. And if you do have a, a glass of wine a night or beer or whatever, um, you know, hopefully it's within reason, within limits, and you bought it on a discount. Although discount wine and beer is not always a, a good thing. Uh, DC Tech Geek says, I use Monopoly money to create a physical budget. That's kind of interesting. I, I would never have thought of that little tip. So if you have an array of money and you have buckets or you know folders or whatever you would place them in, uh, it doesn't have to be real money, but it can represent real money. That is a genius idea, DC Tech Geek. I love doing these episodes live. Uh, they really, you know, that, that was a tip that I think could prove useful uh, for a lot of people. Um, looking through here to see if I can find any other people who uh, are, I guess, posting tips. When I do this live, sometimes the chat room or chat box, they, they're not really on topic. They're kind of in their own head. They're spinning around, talking to themselves, and I'm ignoring everything they say. Not smoking saves money. That's true. Diapers for babies. Well, sometimes you need them. Of course, you could get cloth diapers and wash the stains out and everything else. Yeah, there's probably things you want to spend a little more money on. I'm guessing that might be one. Uh, Jimmy PC 4242 says, I use pencil and paper and a calculator. Old school. I like it. Not, not a bad idea. I use the Reminders app on iOS 5 to keep track of my monthly payments and income, says Gadget Boy 1234 A lot of good ideas, a lot of good suggestions, we have even more, did I say suggestions? That's not even a word. Suggestions for you on the article on LockerGnome.com. And as I said, if you have any other ideas, tips, tricks, tweaks, whatever, either leave it a comment on the article, leave it as a comment here in this video, or just share what you've learned with everybody else and make sure 
they get the idea that it's good to know how much money you're spending and that uh, you'll be able to spend it without going into the poorhouse.